Hey there, fellas. I'm Vlad, your host as usual, and you're watching the Garage 54 YouTube channel. Anyway, guys, here's what we're doing today. Not too long ago, by the way, take a look if you haven't seen it, we decided to conduct a curious experiment. We had a pretty much fully operational car which we buried in the ground and left it to sit there for a year. After that we decided to recover it and have a look at the bodywork and maybe even try starting it up and moving around. But here's what happened. Everything went great, I mean, we were able to bury it. But afterwards it turned out that somebody had already been there and dug it up. I guess let bygones be bygones. We laughed at it. But later on we accidentally stumbled upon the car. We put up a short video on the second channel from when we were at the junkyard. We saw something quite familiar while we were there. And when we were walking around it and having a look, that's when it suddenly hit us. This is in fact the very car which we buried. Whatever, screw it. Anyway, here's the plan for today. It's actually quite a bit more interesting. As you can see, we have three cars sitting here. One is a domestic Lada. The second one is Japanese, a Toyota Corsa. I can't tell you exactly what year it is, because I really don't give a shit. And finally we have an Audi, which is obviously German-made. So what exactly do we have in mind? First off, we'll be digging a huge hole. Well, not using shovels, of course, that's a job for a tractor. We'll carefully place all three cars inside, park them side by side, we might remove the batteries, since they will definitely go bad in a year for sure. After that we carefully bury them and leave them to sit there for an entire year. Anyway, we'll be burying them. Last time we were also on private land, but there was a lot of it and we were in the middle of a forest. Apparently it was an easy catch. But this time we ain't letting that happen again. Right now we happen to be on the territory of the man's club Stvol where there are a bunch of guys playing paintball, laser tag, climbing ropes and doing other stuff like that. I'd like to extend a big thanks to Alexei, who I talked with recently on the phone. He thought the idea was hilarious, so he put up some surveillance cameras and provided a bit of land for us to dig up where we can bury the cars. He assured us that everything will be okay. There's actually not too much for us to do. First we wait until the excavator prepares a hole for us. After that, we lower all three cars inside. Let's go take a look at what they're up to. We buried a German, a Japanese and a Russian. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Here's where we're at, guys. We've got a great big hole. Oh my, there's even an echo. That's pretty cool. It is actually quite large. Surely big enough for three cars to fit, I reckon. I mean, it is pretty wide. And it seems deep enough for our needs. It's more than enough to completely bury the cars. We won't be seeing the roofs or the hoods or anything. So here's the place where all three cars, Russian, Japanese and German, will hopefully spend a year. It won't be that easy to recover them from this here place. Especially since we have a camera looking after them, so beware. You might get into some serious trouble. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Let's roll them in and cover them with some dirt. Let's do this. We'll place the Audi in the hole first. That's because it won't start using the key. It's got a malfunctioning starter motor. Right, so we just point it and I'm off. So we're pushing it. Yeah, go for it.
Sergey, that's enough. Sergey! Looks like he got stuck on the tow hook. Yeah, I saw I got you with the tow hook. All right, guys, we got the first car in place, and up next we have the Toyota. Okay, car number two is in, which is a good thing since it barely made it in. It can hardly even move. So here's where we're at, guys. We've put all three cars in place. We got them all the way in. So we're looking good. We did remove the batteries, though. The only thing left to do now is to bury them. Let's do this! There you have it, fellas. We've successfully buried the cars, so everything's looking good. We've evened everything out a bit. I mean, we will need some sort of mark later on to figure out where we left them. Anyway, so this part... How should we even call it? Like, car burial part one? And part two will be like, resurrected cars? Well, you get the idea. That'll be all for today's episode. Watch our videos, subscribe, leave your suggestions and comments. And see you later.